Soldiers are soldiers. Vermont National Guard Commander Greg Knight, joined by his lieutenant colonel, speaking from the Republic of Senegal. They're nearly 4,000 miles from home on Africa's west coast, joining roughly 20 Vermonters in military training there. The, the true benefit of the program, where the program is actually at its best, is watching our, our, our members of the Guard interact with, with Senegalese members of the military. The group has spent the last two weeks working side by side with the Senegalese military to help improve medical care and readiness in local hospitals. Hospitals aren't as well equipped there, and it's hot. The weather here leads to uh, equipment failure through overheating, uh, corrosion, and availability of parts. And in this case, we brought a biomedical technician from the Vermont Air National Guard with us, and he has been working uh, a lot more hours than everyone else to get these machines up and running. The military partnership, like one the Vermont Guard maintains with North Macedonia, dates back years, and it cuts both ways. It's a special honor to welcome you to the Green Mountain State. The president of Senegal paying a visit to Burlington back in 2010. This week, General Knight met with the chiefs of the Senegal Army and Air Force and with the U.S. ambassador. I'll tell you, Stuart, it's an amazing experience. Uh, the Senegalese, they're professional. They are incredibly appreciative of the partnership we have with them. Uh, and I, I can't replicate uh, the experience that our members have when they come over here. I, I can't do that back home. General Knight uh, returns to the U.S. this weekend. He said logistics prevent him from visiting uh, any of the 950 Vermonters who are now deployed in the Africa, Central, and European commands. But... He told us so far, quoting him, everybody's safe and executing their mission as we would expect.